so diving actually means the activity of jumping into water over here what the beetle is doing it is diving onto the might be the floor or other part any part of the room of the house right so what the poet is saying zooming that is moving with great speed making that type of noise that uh, that similar that is similar to that of a motor uh, engine okay engine and then diving about the room until finally it falls into the water into the bowl of the goldfish okay and plop so children whenever you drop something on a bucket full of water you will you can listen to this noise plop so here the um, uh, poet has actually given a realistic image to you all to feel that yes the beetle fell into the water making that noise plop clear this type of sounds which the poet uses in a poem to give a realistic effect to the poem is called onomatopoeia what is it called onomatopoeia it is a figure of speech or we can say a poetic device which is used by the poet to give the special effect to the poem i'll explain what a figure of speech is and what onomatopoeia is but let us first let me first explain the rest part of the poem he is in the goldfish bowl again so with this noise plop we can understand that he has again he is again into the goldfish bowl swimming round and round and looking very tired so once it has fallen into the goldfish bowl it is unable to escape from there so in order to save itself what is it doing it is swimming round and round and round and round into the bowl okay and by swimming so much it is feeling tired actually can we know whether the insect is feeling tired or not no but it is the feeling of the poet compassion it is a compassionate feeling that the poet is feeling for that insect because of which he is saying that the beetle is feeling tired after continuously swimming for so long in 5 minutes time i must go to bed and if you don't get this beetle to look after himself who will so what the poet is said that i have already saved him twice but today now again it has fallen and in 5 minutes time i am going to go to i am going to sleep now suppose even if i take the beetle out and leave it in the garden but again it will enter and if it again falls down then who is going to look after it who is going to save his life so god if you don't this if you don't get this beetle look after itself you don't give him the sense of direction then who is going to look after this beetle besides it makes the goldfish nervous so nervous means feeling worried so here you can see that the goldfish is also nervous about nervous by seeing the beetle so the poet is actually concerned about both about the beetle which enters his room every now and then makes that zooming sound and keeps on constantly diving into the water of the goldfish bowl secondly he is also concerned about the goldfish who is already there inside the bowl and he is always getting nervous whenever he is seeing it is seeing that the beetle is inside the uh, gold inside its home you can say because this pot is the home of the goldfish so it is also nervous and this beetle it is also tired so that is the poet is concerned about both he is compassionate about both the living 
beings the beetle as well as the fish is it clear i hope it is clear to you children 